Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this lesson is about something called uh, a reflection. Um, earlier you learned about different types of transformations. Um, a reflection is a type of, of transformation. So first let's take a look um, at this coordinate grid. And let's do just a quick reminder about some of the parts of, of a coordinate grid. All right, um, The line that's horizontal, this is the x-axis. And the line that's vertical going up and down is the Y axis. All right, now we're gonna to need to plot some points today. So let's say if we have point uh, three and four, all right? Just a reminder that this three is the X value and the four is the Y value, all right? Now where the two lines meet, that's called the origin, all right, which is location zero, zero. So if we're going to graph point 3, 4, we're going to start at the origin and go right 3, 1, 2, 3. And then from there, we're going to go up 4, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So that's the point 3, 4. Let's say we want to plot the point negative 2 and negative 3. All right. So again, we start at the origin. And this time, we're going to go left 2. That's negative, right? And then down three. One, two, three. So that's location negative two and negative three. All right, so if you look at the next page of your notes, we're going to start off by graphing um, some lines. All right, and the first graph we're going to uh, graph is something called x equals negative three. All right, now the way you graph the line x equals negative three is you plot a bunch of points where the x value is negative three. All right, so I'm gonna write a negative three in every single one of these points here for, for the X values. And then you can use any numbers you want for the Y values. I wanna make sure they fit on the graph. So I'm gonna say uh, Y is um, one, three, negative one, and we'll go negative four. All right, so now I'm gonna plot these points. So the first point is negative three, one. So I'm gonna go left three, one, two, three, and up one. Next one is negative three and positive three. So left three, then up three. Next one is negative three, negative one. That's a point. And then negative three and negative four. So if you notice, these points are making a line, like so. I'm gonna connect them. So the name of this line is x equals negative three. All right, now let's graph the line y equals one, all right? Now before, when we graphed x equals negative three, all the x values were negative three. Well this time, all of our y values are gonna be one. So this is gonna be a one, this is gonna be a one, a one, and a one. And I'm gonna pick random values for x. So we'll say uh, negative two, positive three, zero, and we'll go one, all right? So negative two and one, that's gonna be, let's see, left two up one, right here. Three and one, right here, zero and one, right here, and last but not least, one and one is right here. If, again, we make a nice straight line, and let's add arrows on both sides because it goes on forever, and there's the line y equals one. All right, so now let's graph our first um, reflection, and we're gonna graph uh, the reflection across y equals one, all right? So notice we have a, a triangle, and the line y equals one is right here. All right, and just a reminder, when in doubt, plot a couple points that has the y value of one. All right, so if I go two and one and negative two and one, well, if I, if I plot these points, two and one, notice it's right there, right? And negative two and one, it's right there, and it's on the line. So this is how you actually do a reflection, okay? I'm gonna use a different color, and I recommend you do the same thing. All right, is take a look at this point X. If you notice, X is two units away from our line of reflection, right? The green line, okay? So what you do is from the line of reflection, you go down two and put a point here, and that's gonna be X prime. Now this one, N, if you notice, 
is again two units away from the line of reflection. All right, so from the line of reflection, I'm gonna go down to on the other side of the line, and that's gonna be n prime. Now, because s already is on the line of reflection, we're gonna leave s the way it is right there. All right, now I'm gonna connect the dots, and there's our reflection across y equals one. All right, let's now do our second reflection. And this time we're gonna reflect an image across x equals negative two, okay? And the line x equals negative two is gonna be going like this, straight up and down from negative two. So that's gonna be our line of reflection, all right? So again, here we have a triangle. So if you notice, z is one unit away from the line of reflection. So from that point, I'm gonna go over one more. So that's gonna be z prime. Now y is one, two, three units away from the line of reflection. So I need to go over three units this way. And that's gonna be y prime. And then m is two units away. So from here, I'm gonna go over two units and put a dot there. So that's gonna be m prime. Lastly, I'm gonna connect the dots and there's the reflection of x equals negative two. All right, so what I want you to do, I want you to pause the video and try the next problem, uh, next couple problems, and then hit play, you can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's say you did with these problems. All right, so for the first one, you had to reflect an image across x equals one. All right, so first we need to draw the line x equals one, which is right here. So that's gonna be our line of, of reflection, all right? Now we need to, to basically draw this image on the other side. So I'm gonna put a point right here. If you notice, this point is one unit away from the line, right? So on the other side, I'm gonna put a point right here. This point, is one, two units away. So I'm gonna go over two this way. This point is one unit away. So I'm gonna put a point right here. And this point is one, two, three units away. So I'm going over three, one, two, three. And then this point right here is one, two, three units away. So over three, one, two, and three. And then last but not least, we have this point right here, which is one, two units away. So I'm gonna go over two, one, and two, and there it is. So now if you notice, if I connect the dots, we have our reflection across x equals one. All right, now for this one, you had to reflect an image across y equals negative one. All right, so the line y equals negative one is right here. All right, and I'm gonna use a different color to make it pop a little bit more here. And again, I'm gonna identify some points on the image. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And now I gotta say, all right, this point right here, how far away is it from the line of reflection? And it's one, two, so I'm gonna go over two, one, and two. This one is one, two, three, four, five away. So I have to go down five from here, one, two, three, four, and five. This one is also five away, right? So we're gonna put it right here also, right there. This one is one, two away. So we have to go down two, one, and two. This one is, I believe, three away, one, two, and three. So we have to go down three, one, two, and three. And then this one here, we have uh, one, two, three away. So I'm gonna go down three. One, two, and three. And here is our image reflected across y equals negative one. All right, how'd you do?